hi guys welcome back to the channel make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button make sure your post notification bell is on so in this video anytime is the upload over here at closet says also to like comment and share subscribe button gray guys make it gray and not red all right we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video as y'all already know we have been doing reviews on some of the products that we have done for the year and I'm doing reviews instead of instead of like a vlogmas or whatever. I just thought I'd do reviews, okay. And some of the reviews are on the products and stuff. I have been getting a lot of questions throughout the year, even though I be done answered them, okay, which is fine. But I'm going over this review of some of the products that we have done, okay, and to let you guys know. What, what we use them for, how we use them, and stuff like that, if you're a crafter. All right. Now, this right here is called, but before I start, let me say this. There will not be a link in the description box for these because I have put links and I have let you guys know where I get them from, okay? So, I'm not going to keep adding links and stuff like that. So, if you follow me and you watch the videos and stuff like that, you already know about these but we're just doing a review on them and i'm just basically giving y'all the information because this um right here and um some other items i have getting a lot of questions about so i thought i'd just do a review on them okay so this right here is called turkey lasers these are called turkey lasers i get them from amazon i repeat I get these from Amazon. This size here is a six inch, okay? Six inch. Now, I just told y'all they was turkey laces, but we as crafters, crafters call them pokey tubes, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all. It's funny, it was funny to me when I went to messing with it, but be very careful. It has a very sharp point at the end when you're using this and you y'all know the smallest little nicks is are the ones that hurt so be very careful when you're using this when crafting okay because they do have a sharp edge now i do believe they have a different style it's like a needle and it's it's just like a needle and it's six inches and it curves this part right here at the bottom it curves at the bottom so I'm not, I have never used them. I was scared to use them because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get my beads where I wanted to go. So that's why I just went with the straight ones and I finally found some with the loop. Now, we use these for poking tubes. We call, we as crafters call these poker tubes, okay? We put beads and so forth, charm them out and stuff like that on them, all right? So now you can use them for your beads. That's what we use them for, all right? They come in a set of 30. This is the um turkey lasers they are i think i paid like 839 for these and some of them they are like 699 depending on whatever you vendor you choose from amazon because so many will pop up with you know they offer them that's how much i paid for them between 839 699 and 839 but i believe it was 839 if i'm not mistaken now these right here okay these right here y'all see these little loops right here they um these are called the ring loop these are nothing but card holders ring loops all right y'all see now this point right here is not don't have does not have a sharp edge on it as much as this here turkey laser do the pokey tube right there all right so Right here, it's kind of like it's squared off, a cut off. Besides this, y'all can see the points, like so, right there. Now, I'm gonna show y'all. Now, these right here, like I said, come in a set of 30, right here. These right here come in a set of 30. These I paid $6.99 for, they come in 30. But this, this size here is a 4.72 inch. And you can put the card, hold, let me see. I got a card. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me see. Since it's the ring hoop, see? 
that's what that's for. You can get you some styrofoam, put it on your desk. If you just want to display your info, even if you're in your little craft room, and just put it there. That's what this is for. Like that. The card holder. Okay. And show y'all. This is my other little cards. Y'all remember us doing the cards for these beaded gems. That's my new website. See? That's what that's for as well. But that's what this is. These are called ring loop card holders. Okay? Ring loop card holders. But I'm going to show y'all what we use them for. Now, these come in a set of 30 as well. I love it because they come in a case already, y'all. They come in a case. So, I we've used some, and I'm going to show y'all some of the products that we use. See? That lets me know because we, we have used some already. But, yeah, I'm going to leave them out and leave this right here. So, remember, turkey lasers, Amazon, 6-inch, come in 30 pieces. Okay, what I just told you guys these were ring loop holders, mm -mm. ring loop holders, like card holders. They come in a set of 30, and these here are the short ones that are 4.72 inches, all right? So, that's why I got these, but I, you can also use these for pokey tools, okay? But now, I'm going to show you guys, like I said, there will not be a link in the bottom below, because... If you go back to some of the other videos I've done, the links are in there. I told y'all where to get it from, but right now we're doing a review. If you use the poker tool, which one you like better? This one? Do you like dressing this one up better? Or if you have some of these, do you like dressing up this one better? Let me know in the comments below. So let's go over some of the products that we have made with these i'm gonna show y'all a couple of pieces okay i'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way um let's see let's start with this one remember i told y'all this is the ring um cart the ring loop card holder look y'all remember we did this one and y'all see what i did you can get your jump ring put it right here put your little charm on there and there you go Y'all should remember that one. We did this one, a tutorial on this one. If you go up on the Poke Tools, we did. And also, too, what we use to cover the bottom of this right here is nothing but an earring back, okay? You can get these from anywhere, Walmart, anywhere you shop. This is a earring backing. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, that's one we use... And we made it out of this four inches. Um, we did. Y'all remember the Betty Boot? We did. I put a little um, lipstick, charm, bead, dressed up the beads. This is the back. And y'all know if I, if I don't like it plain, y'all know I'm going to dress it up. I'm going to dress it up. And that's what it's going to be. Like right there. This is the earring holder. Okay, and um, here's one. I'm trying to find the ones we did. I had another one. No, I didn't. That did that different. And I did a little shorter one. Betty Boo. Look this one. And that's the little bottle cap. We're going to go over a lot of stuff. So, that's how I did the back. And y'all see what I did? And what I did right here, I basically cut when i put the stopper right here now some of them use the beads if y'all go look at that tutorial i would i showed you guys how to make this and i love them they are very cute they are very cute so and to stop the bead right here like in between where you be trying to figure out what do they use they use the earring stopper you can buy these already square but if you have the ones that are around like this already in your possession guys only thing you have to do is go slightly and cut the round piece and just slip um snip the little bit um at the bottom to make it kind of like square that's how i ended up with this 
that's how I ended up with that. Okay, right here. That's what we use to stop the bees. Some of them don't use them, but that's what I do. I'm showing you what Closet of Sads, what we have done over here, okay? These here bees are just a little shorter. They're just a little shorter. That's it. Um, bottle caps and stuff, we'll do those later. Okay. Remember, okay, this is the butterfly thing. I think this is the first one we did too. This is made out of this. Go check out the tutorial on the pokey tube. It's what we use for this. Right? From this right here to this. And I already explained to y'all in another video what size bees they were and everything. So y'all go back and look at the video. How did you get it to stay like this? This is a button, a button. This is all this is, is a button. This little round, go back and look at the video, okay? Get your beads, slide them up there, decorate them the way you want them. And right here at the bottom is nothing but the what? My little flat back pearls. You can stop it like that too. Put you some E6000 on there and go on about your business. Decorate it out and y'all know that's what I do. Y'all know my go-to is my what? If you've been following me, you already know. Go look and check out the video. What I did was jump ring on there and dressed up the little and made it like this. Now, if you don't want the little dangles on here, you can just leave it plain. Okay? We're going to go over those too. We're, we're, we're fixing to go over them too. I'm fixing to show y'all. Because I still find myself... um. Ooh, y'all, please don't let me knock over this camera because y'all know I'm known for that. But we're not trying to do that right now. We're just trying to do this review on these here products and items that we have done. Okay? Um, Here's one I did. See? Earring backing. From this right here to this right here. That's all it is. Get your little beads. I did the same thing. I put my little flat back pearls right here. Decorated it, dressed it up. I'm about my business. Now, like I said, if you don't like the little charms like I hung right here, you don't have to. Just keep it a little class and keep it moving. That's all you got to do. And I made this one too. I just had to show y'all this one. I love this one. These here is about the little shell beads, the little crowded shell beads. That's it. Y'all see right there? I just love this one. This one is too cute. This is too cute. And the earring backing. That's it. That is it with this. And like I say, from this here to this is our poke tools. Now, what we, what do you use them pokey tools for, Miss D? Even though I done told y'all on that video. Like I say, I don't want this video to be long because I don't want the reviews because we're not going over the products and stuff. But I just thought I'd share some of the, what we have done while I'm explaining y'all the pokey tool to you guys, okay? So, look at that. That's just too cute. All right. Now, the pokey tool... It's, this is I'm fixing to show y'all right now. We get this right here. I'm gonna put this right here, and let's use this one. No, let's use this one right here. Let's use a short one. I took the earring back off it. You know, like when you're searching for your beads, guys. Instead of using our hand like this, trying to get that bead or trying to see what's down there, that's what this is for. You do like this. And then if, it, if it's big enough, you just reach in there. You don't want to pick it up. You're having them long nails. Guess what? That's what this is for. When you're having them long nails and you're trying to get it like a, doing what we doing what we do. And we're so used to doing this. But you don't want to mess up your nails. You don't want to chip them. And you can't reach it because you have them the long nails. Guess what? If you have a whole minute. That's why it's called a poker tool. Like that. Stir around your beads. That's all you're doing. If you can't find them, 
whatever that's what this is for that's what this is for okay i want i want this pink one let me see that's what i did that's all you do that's what this is made for guys so when you see poke tube that's what it's for all right that's what it's for when we're crafting and i forget so so much y'all y'all still see me instead of grabbing one of these poker tools that i done made and i'm gonna keep for myself i still end up trying to dig it out with my hand trying to weigh down there at the bottom but this is some these are some of the items that we have made with this um with our product items right here okay i just thought i'd come on here and share because i've gotten so many questions about um the poke tools are are we gonna am i gonna make any more new videos i am but that'll be within the coming year but right now we're just gonna do a review of what we have done okay so that's why i'm going over a lot of them want to know where they come from and stuff like that that's why i'm doing the video on them all right remember turkey lancers poke tool if you're a crafter that's what we call them we dress them up bling them out Amazon six inch thirty pieces, six ninety nine, or maybe eight thirty nine. Same as this. This is the ring, um, the ring loop card holder, thirty pieces, four point seven two inches. This is the smaller one, and as y'all could already see, this is how we decorate them. Go check out the video, okay? Go check out the video. So from this here to this, from this here to this that's it that's mainly it guys that is it so like i say if you have been following me and been watching the videos you guys already know and know how what we did know the steps and go check it out but there will be new products and new items coming um designs and stuff i'm going to share with you guys of how to use these so make sure you guys post notification bell is on so you don't miss a video anytime it's the upload also to like comment and share and i definitely hope you guys got something out of this video because i don't want these videos to be as long i was trying to keep it under 15 minutes and look like i'm a little past that so but anyway like comment and share remember amazon guys shop amazon shop Amazon. Okay, I'm out.